take a look around and find somebody to war eagle. It's showtime. Holy cow! Oh my god! Well, hello, Auburn, Alabama. At all points around the globe where War Eagle can be heard in return with joy, particularly on this day in the rolling hills and plains of the loveliest village. Maybe. No matter what, if you're an Auburn man or woman, you should always have joy in your heart. We shall overcome. And hello to you, consumers of Auburn Broadcast Transmissions, and welcome to Auburn Stuff, the variety show where we discuss the philosophy of life in orange and blue and other stuff that you may or may not find entertaining and informative, but that I certainly do. This episode, as always, of Auburn Stuff is brought to you by Scott Schroeder Photography. What are your photography needs? Whether it's faces, faces, or places, Scott Schroeder Photography specializes in modern classic imagery to tell your story. Based in the South Carolina Lowcountry and traveling throughout the Southeast and beyond, visit scottschroderphotography.com for information and booking. All righty then, brothers and sisters. If you think I've been lit up in the past over things, um, I got to tell you, this is an entirely different level. Here we go. Deep breaths, right? The behavior we've witnessed in the tenebrous, often grotesque world of college football as it relates to Auburn University and Coach Brian Harson is beyond the pale of wink and a nod, indecent, good old boy booster shenanigans. This isn't pulling strings to get your dopey, entitled kid a grad assistant job or creating a back door to your buddy's car dealership for special people, or even abusing your influence to manipulate a coaching search. At the risk of sounding like a Baptist minister here, this is wicked. Using money, power, and influence in an attempt to take away a man's livelihood, destroy his reputation, and wreck his family because of your control fetish is the definition of evil, and I'd say clinically psychopathic. We've all seen these games being played. We see them on every level in every iteration from youth sports to the high halls of Congress and everything in between. This is the result of a surrender culture whose mantra is, that's just the way things are. The more correct statement is, that's the way things we allowed to be because we are lazy, indifferent, and distracted. Is that how you want to be considered? The fact that this spun, this thing, this monstrosity spun 180 degrees so quickly two or three times now from the intended false narrative should say everything you need to hear about the efficacy of this diseased lunacy. The repugnancy of this slander is only surpassed by its sheer, unmitigated, unadulterated stupidity. This wasn't even an effective slander campaign. This is junior high level scat tossing. Don't you find it remarkable how quickly this shit show went from baseless rumors of salacious activity to the coach is a meanie and whatever else you want to toss in there that keeps bubbling up to the surface. Whoever you are, whatever you think you've pulled off in the past, with the aid of whatever third-rate media toadies you have in your pocket, you stepped on your crank this time, and you need to stand tall before the judge. We should demand that the Athletics Department, the Alumni Association, Auburn University, the Board of Trustees, and perhaps even the worthless SEC and NCAA conduct a relentless investigation into the origin of this inhumane attack and hold those responsible parties accountable for their slanderous misbehavior. We, as the Auburn family at large, 
should utilize every legal and peaceful means at our disposal to ensure that this isn't ignored, swept under the rug, or whitewashed in any way. Keep the pressure on. If we don't, then we simply deserve whatever comes next at the whims of the powerful and unaccountable. Those responsible for this attack and those who used their platforms for the germination of this attack need to have any and all association to and connection with Auburn University terminated in perpetuity. Send a message that those who think they are greater than the university will have no place there, regardless of the robustness of their checkbook. And those responsible for reporting... I'm looking at you who traffic in defamation will find themselves without their precious access. Even in the worst of times, especially in the worst of times, opportunity for leadership lies where responsibility is abdicated. Do not allow this painful experience to slip by without its lesson being eternally galvanized in the consciousness of the Auburn family. Let this be the catalyst for the paradigm shift to which we've all been paying lip service for decades. Let the rising and future generations of Auburn men and women use this event as their touchstone for cultivating decency and accountability. There is absolutely nothing in this world worth having that isn't earned through struggle and sacrifice. Emerging as a higher form of yourself from any crucible is the truest test of character. Stand for honor. Stand with the Harson family. Throughout this nonsense, Brian Harson never wavered, never hid, and the only finger he pointed was the Cruton finger. He did a thing that we just don't see in this neo-coward, beta, avatar-based, virtue-signaling cancel culture. He stood in the face of the beast and declared, I am the right person for this job. I didn't come here to quit. Let's not quit on him. Stand with Harson. I composed that message over the past couple of days, walking away from the keyboard several times to allow my brain to breathe and more things to sort themselves out. Plus, I wanted to allow myself a Saturday to enjoy basketball. More unsurprising narratives are floating to the surface of this unmitigated shit show. And to quote Steven Tyler, it's the same old story, same old song and dance, my friend. Stop me if you've heard this before. Reckless, unaccountable, entitled boosters, a seemingly feckless board of trustees, a comprehensively invertebrate president, and a man and his family being dragged through the gutter of a wholly fabricated narrative. At minimum, we should be so completely ashamed by what has happened to the Harson family at the hands of Auburn University representatives that we march on Samford Hall. At the first step of maximum, this entire toilet of malfeasance, dereliction, and misconduct needs to be flushed into the sewage system of historical ignominy. Unfortunately, this is no longer simply about a football coach and his family. This is about an infrastructure, or more accurately, a lack thereof, that allows this kind of shame and ridicule to befall a wonderful institution which has provided a gateway to excellence for its students for 166 years. Football is not the fucking mission here. Cultivating more complete people is the mission. Football is merely a branch of that mission. Now, because of the psychosis beating in the hearts of those suffering the post-traumatic stress resulting from the success of hated rivals, we find ourselves standing on the precipice of an abyss with a pack of wolves behind us. It will be decades before we live this down, if ever. Congratulations, Ahab. The white whale has taken down the ship and killed the entire crew. But that's okay, right? You still have your playthings. That's it for Auburn Stuff today. Thank you for your time. Please, as always, 
like, subscribe, and share. Subscriptions are important, you guys. We can help. It'll help us create more content and keep this flowing and uh, keep you guys up to date and informed. So please subscribe. And as always, hey, chin up. We'll survive this. It's just a matter of how and what it looks like on the other side. So until next time, peace out, homies, and War Eagle.